Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to teach you how you can convert your designs that are in Silhouette Studio from studio format to SVG. First thing I'm going to do is create a design. And I'm just going to create it with some circles and squares. The idea is just to design something. So obviously your design would be a lot more impressive than this and a lot more meaningful. So I'm just going to create this and then I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to create a compound path. I'm going to color it in and let's see, I'm just going to make it purple. By the way, if you don't have a compound path, you would not see the white behind there. You wouldn't have the holes in there. I'll show you what I mean. If I release the compound path, everything is going to be purple. There will be cut lines. If I pull this away, the cut lines are there and I can put the square behind by sending it backward and again for the other one. So you see that the cut lines are there and it would cut out of your material but if for any reason you want to see the white through there you need to make that a compound path. So that's what I'm doing here so it's easier to see and this is going to be my design. So I'm going to save this as a studio file and this really has nothing to do with converting it. I'm just saving it for the sake of saving it so that I have it on my hard disk. Um, and I'm just going to call this simple design. Okay, so now when I want to convert this to an SVG file, the best thing to do is to change my color to black and to change the color of the lines to black as well. Notice that I had the paint bucket or the color fill window selected here to display these colors. But if I want to change the line color, I need to click the line color window. Then I need to do the same thing. The image needs to be selected and then I choose black. And now you'll see that all the lines have turned black as well. The reason I do that is because it's going to give me as much contrast as possible because the only way that you can convert studio files to SVG files is to trace them. So once I've done that, I can take a screenshot of this and on a Mac, you would press command shift four to get the crosshairs here so that you can select the area you want to trace. So that's now put a copy of that on my desktop. Here I'm going to start up shortcuts a lot. Shortcuts a lot is my favorite software when I'm not using Illustrator. So I click the trace icon up here at the top of the screen. Then I need to go and choose my image, which is on my desktop. Should be this one. And there you see you have my image. And once I've selected it, it draws a box around the outside. That's not what I want. I'm going to clear the checkbox for use alpha channel and I'm going to update the preview. And you see now it's put cut lines around my box and ellipses in the middle. So that looks perfect. I'm going to click OK and I've got my cutting file. I can change the size, I can do whatever I want with it. That is now a cutting file. There's one more step in Shortcuts a lot and that's you need to choose File and Export and then save that as a cutting file, as an SVG file. So I'm going to put that into my documents and I'm going to call this simple design and I'm going to add SCAL to my file name to show that this came from shortcuts a lot. It gives me some export options. I always choose design space compatible because I do make custom design cutting files for other people and they always want them in SVG format. So this gives them every possibility. They'll be able to use it with a Cricut Explorer or with a Silhouette machine or any other machine because the SVG file format is the most standard. So I have checked the box for design space compatible. A resolution of 72 DPI is fine and I'll just click OK. And my file is done. It's now in SVG format. So to show that to you, I'm going to close that and I'm going to import an SVG file into Shortcuts a lot. So that is in my documents and I had called it simple design from shortcuts a lot. So that's this file. 
on a Mac, you automatically see a preview. So I can click open and that opens up my file there. And let's go into Silhouette Studio and I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to open up that same file in here, the SVG file, because I do have the designer edition. So I need to go into Documents. And then I'll find Simple Design. And there we go. There's my file. The next program I'm going to show you is Inkscape. Inkscape is a free program that you can also use to convert your studio files into SVG format. So in Inkscape, I need to open up my document that I want to trace. So I'm going to click File, Open. And then I'm going to go and look on my desktop, which is where the screenshot has been saved. I'm going to open that file up. I mean, it doesn't need to be as large as this, so I'm just going to go a little bit smaller. I'm going to select the item. Then I'm going to choose, I'm going to click Path, Trace Bitmap. When I click update, it shows me a preview, and then I'll click OK. So it has now traced the image. I can pull this away, and the part that I pull away is the traced image. I'll take this, and I'll delete it because I don't need that. And you'll see if I click View and Display Mode, and I show outline, you'll see that there are only lines here. So that's my cutting file. So I can click view again, choose display mode, and choose normal, and you'll see it with the colors that it had. Now to convert this to SVG format, because remember we just traced this, I need to choose file, save as, and then I need to make sure that I have Inkscape SVG selected over here, and I'm going to put it into my documents. And I'm going to call this Simple Design. It filled in the rest for me, but I don't want that. I want this file to be called Inkscape so that I'll know that it was created with Inkscape. Now when I go back to Silhouette Studio, if I choose File, Open, and I go into my documents, and I find, I go looking for Simple Design Inkscape, it's going to show me this preview, I click OK, and here's my cutting file. And of course, as always, I can increase the size or make it smaller or whatever I like to do. So as you can see, these files have all been converted and they're now SVG files and you can do whatever you want with them because they are your designs after all. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to do this in Adobe Illustrator. So also in Adobe Illustrator, I need to open up the screenshot and I'll be tracing that file. So to open it, I just need to choose File Open. I need to go and find that on my desktop. That's this file right here. So in Adobe Illustrator, I would choose Window, and then Image Trace, and it gives me my tracing options. I'm just tracing a simple black and white image, so I don't need to make any changes here. So now I'll click Trace, and it has done that for me. What I need to do now is choose the image, go up to Object, and choose expand. And then I need to expand both the object and the fill. So now I've got cutting lines, but I need to ungroup this and ungroup it again until when I select it, I have only my cutting lines selected, not the outside box here. So this outside box we don't need. Okay, so I'm going to pull this away. And then when we're back over here, you'll see there are additional images. I'm going to delete those. Those were just the screenshot, whereas this is the actual cutting files. If I click View and Outline over here, you'll see you have cutting lines. 
So the same thing applies in Illustrator. You would now choose File, Save As. You would choose SVG Format, and you would save it. I'm going to call it, I'm going to put it in my Documents folder, and I'm going to call it Simple Design Illustrator. And save. The standard options are fine, so I'll just click OK. And that's it. The file has been converted to SVG format. So I'm going to exit Illustrator, go back to Silhouette Studio, and I'll create yet another file. And I'm going to open the Illustrator SVG file, which is in Documents. And it's right here. So I have created an SVG file using shortcuts a lot, Inkscape, and Illustrator. So let's open up the Illustrator file. And again, we've got the cutting lines. And one thing you always need to remember when you bring an SVG file into Silhouette Studio, it does have cutting lines defined, but when you click on the cutting, on the cut settings, you're gonna see that it says no cut. So you need to come into this screen, the cut settings screen, and click cut so that your cutting lines are enabled. Okay? They exist, they're in the file, but they're not enabled. So that's all you need to do. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave me a thumbs up if this video has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.